how to select best coaching class for UPSC civil services examination. Uh, obviously, this is a difficult question. Various opinions are there. I am here to just not calling you to my center, but providing you information that how to select. We have to find out the criteria. Uh, obviously, first criteria regular lectures should be there. Regular exam practice, mock test, that is consisting of unit test, mock prelim test, like that various tests. And not only test, after that test, there must be analysis of the paper. This is the most important thing that should be there. And a uh, very good library facility should be there. I hope all these three criteria are fulfilled by many of the classes. It is not that uh, regular lectures they are not conducting or like that. So uh, these three criteria are the essential criteria which almost all classes with fewer exceptions are providing now. But apart from that, the important thing is that uh, whether there is relationship between student and teacher. I have been with various institutes and many times we are there to deliver the lecture. Even I don't know name of any single student in the class and they also don't know my name. So this is not the development of relationship. So like that if there are 200 students in class then obviously teacher will be there he will just deliver the lecture and go out. So uh, batch size must be small. That is the most important thing I am suggesting you. Then how far it is from your residence? This is another criteria. It is not that you have to travel there for 2 hours, 3 hours and then you can reach to class and come back after traveling of 2 to 3 hours. So this will be not beneficial. Either find out class near your residence or shift your residence temporarily to the uh, vicinity of class. Another important thing that class should be there that is uh, spoon feeding should not be there. In various classes uh, particularly those who are uh, teaching for 11th and 12th standard they are providing you ready made notes and all that. This is very good thing for 11th and 12th standard. But when we are going for higher education, it is advisable that you must prepare your own notes. So spoon feeding or providing ready made notes that sounds good but it is not actually helping you. When you are preparing for UPSC civil services examinations, it is expected from you that you should have maximum knowledge. Gather it from various sources and so gather it from various books. Obviously, reading notes is not a sinful act. You can read out notes because that is also giving you knowledge. But what happens that suppose this is the size of book. When I am preparing notes, I will reduce it to 60%. Our grasping power is not 100%. Uh, at least my grasping power is not 100%. And so, if I am grasping out all the notes, then also I am having just knowledge of 60% what is the actual knowledge in that book. And that's why I suggest you to read the books first. And for that purpose I mentioned that reference library should be there. You have to go there, study out these reference books. You have to spend maximum time in library, that means in studying out that reference books. Now, apart from that, classes should conduct regular tests. See, test is really important because basically we are working on the principle that we are calling as rocket principle. Unless fire is there, we are not going to work. Anyway, but uh, fact is that when exam is there, we are going to prepare. If regular exams are conducted then obviously our study is also more regular. What happened exactly otherwise we are going to study out
but the way questions are asked, we are not aware or we are not used to it. If you are attending more and more examinations, then obviously you will get idea that how questions are asked and while reading, which point you have to consider the most and which point you have to ignore. And for that purpose, regular test practice along with that analysis of that exam is important. So if these all things are there and obviously what fees you are going to pay for that purpose. That is also if number of students are more than obviously you can pay less fees. Number of students are less than obviously fees are towards higher side. If personal tuition is there then obviously very very high side. But that is your own question how to solve. So these are the criteria that minimum we have to get these criteria. Some important thing is that there should be understanding between teacher and student. If student is not able to follow what teacher says, then it is no meaning of going to that class or attending that lectures. Try to understand first the teacher. It is not that every teacher will explain you simplified way. Some teachers are giving very good knowledge, but they are not able to explain. Try to get knowledge from them. And then only you have to get uh, into that class. Anyway, so this is uh, apart. So obviously, uh, as you are observing board, so my suggestion is that uh, obviously check out what we are also providing in our class. So in this YouTube channel only, you will get that what we are offering in our class. And then you can decide whether to join our center or join any other center and prepare for UPSC examination. Thank you.